So, what's up team? So we're in Starbucks. Me and Mariah having a girls day. She said she wanted to go to Starbucks and try Starbucks for the first time because all of her friends in middle school are going to Starbucks. So we're here. Show the team what you get. You are getting the double chocolate chip cream frappuccino blended. That look nice. So it's a rich mocha flavor. Sauce meets up with chocolatey chips, milk and ice, with blender bash. That's awesome, right? It's gonna be a party in your mouth. You like that? Yeah, so what I did, I got everybody a uh, caramel frappuccino and I got everybody an egg and cheddar cheese breakfast sandwich. So tonight on the menu is lasagna. So we're gonna have lasagna tonight. Uh, you know you guys, I love some lasagna. So I'm gonna make a big old pan of lasagna later on. Taste for Aya. You like it? Oh, are you gonna become addicted to Starbucks? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Welcome to Team Moses Vlogs, where you watch us do life and enjoy marriage on our journey. I love you, you love me, I love you, you love me, I got your back baby, I got your back baby, I love you, you love me, I love you, you love me. Good in here. My wife has some um, some cream cheese and some mm, some raisin bread or some. Want some of these with some coffee? Wait, well, let me turn some lights on around here. <sighs> Ain't that better? Now, with some breakfast. Maybe some cereal. Today gonna be a spaghetti day. Let me tell you that now. Some fruit loops. I probably have some fruit loops. Team, that's what I'm gonna do. Fruit loops. Oh. <sighs> Ting, ting, ting. I want the cereal. Then I don't want the cereal. Like, I want it, but I don't feel like putting it in a bowl and pouring milk. It's just going to be honest with y'all. I don't feel like doing that. So maybe I'll come over here. Yes, and I run for breakfast. Sometimes you gotta run for breakfast. <coughs> Get ready to start our day. I don't know what all that entails. We were supposed to go to the movies yesterday. We ain't go. My wife changed her mind. 
to my where you want to go. But she had it in her mind where she wanted to go. See, that's the thing she do. Like, except she say, tomorrow, let's go to the movies and go out to eat. Well, okay. Then when the next day, when that day come, if she don't feel like doing it, you be like, come on, we still going to the movies? Um, where, where you want to go? Now she make it like it's your thing. She don't really want to go nowhere. Make it like it's your thing. You decided that no. You the one that said you want to go to the movie. I'm fine with watching movies at home. <coughs> it ain't no way. My wife bought this treadmill. And don't really use it, y'all. I think she just like buying things. And I ain't gonna lie to you. I like buying things too, like when I get packaged and it come. But then they bought the guitar. And Mariah got the guitar. Nobody uses the guitar. I think sometimes with some people, it's just a thrill of getting something. Had to make a run to Walmart. The family wants spaghetti. So we're going to have spaghetti. I need a big pot. We're going to make a lot of spaghetti. That is my goal. And since I'm the spaghetti king around here. Around these parts. I'm going to do the honors. Because my wife, she don't, lately she don't want to cook. She want to stay on the computer and work. Well, I know I got to eat. Therefore, I got to cook. All right, team, no judgment. I got a messy over here. I'm about to clean up. I think we showed y'all this before, but we like to use this. Yeah. I'm about to clean up, team. I just put all the bell peppers and all the onions in there. I'm about to dump it now. All right, so I'm going to mix that up and put the sauce in it. It's going to be yummy, yummy, yummy. We got other spaghetti sauce, too. I'm going to mix it. People... People, I just wanted to share something with y'all real quick. Especially single people. I'm gonna talk to, I'm, I'm gonna talk to single people only right now. Like, if you're not married, spend all the time with the Lord you can right now. And I know some people might say that's easy to say because you're sick, you are married. But when I was when I was single, I spent a lot of time with the Lord. And I think you should too, because once you get married, you won't be able to do that no more. Like, and I ain't saying it like it's a miserable thing. It's good to be married. You'll still get to get to spend a lot of time with the Lord, just not the amount of time that you did when you were single. You'll you'll never get that back. That kind of time, because you could when you're single, 
you can get all day if you don't have children especially if you don't have children you can spend all day with the lord all night with the lord you ain't gotta get up and go in the kitchen till you get ready it's just that spend as much time with god as you can now you know because like i'm married now and just like this is what made me think of this because i was just laying right here reading my bible I'm at 2 Kings, reading 2 Kings and stuff, and my wife sends me a text message from the kitchen. She's in the kitchen. Come get me some ice for my cup. So I saw the message, but I didn't respond because I'm in the word. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get some word in me. And like, I didn't respond. And she came in the room. She came in the room, left the kitchen where the ice at in the room and asked me, could I come in the kitchen and get us some ice? I said, baby, you want me to leave the word? Come in the kitchen where you in the ice at to go fill your, your cup with ice? So I'm just, this is a message for singles. Spend as much time with God as you can because you'll never get, let me tell you something. Being married, I had to learn how to adapt because coming from being single, whenever I read the word, I had quiet time. I didn't have nobody walking around singing or listening to messages on their phone out loud. And so I'm, I'll have to learn how to sometimes spend God, spend time with quiet time with God with noise around. Because all these years I've never had noise I always had quiet time so now it's a different season and I'm learning different and I'm learning to deal with the noise and plus when you marry you gotta you, you know your spouse gonna talk to you even though they see you reading you know you know you be in the word and then your wife be like baby how, how does dress look on me uh huh you know now, I don't be saying this to my wife, but I said this to myself. I'll be like, you don't see me reading? You know? But you can't be rude to your spouse. You still got to love them, you know? You can't be reading the Bible, the book of love, and then be rude to your spouse. So, singles, spend all the time with God that you can. Because this time, this time that you have now, you will never get it back and I don't want nobody to misunderstand what I'm saying once you get married you can still spend time with God but this amount of time that you got right now you will never get back never is gone once you get married it's gone because the single person think of the single person they, they focus on how they might please the Lord but the married person focus on how they might please their spouse and so that's all i'm saying to y'all take heed to what i have said to y'all y'all later what up team so you guys oh, it was a lazy day uh just ate like two plates of like spaghetti two plates of spaghetti i'm full and i'm hot actually i don't know why i got this thick robe on yeah but i'm finally about to sit down I want to play Big Farm. I don't know what y'all, if y'all know what this is, but Big Farm. Yeah. I love Big Farm, you guys. Let me show you the app. Yeah, Big Farm. I don't know if y'all, you probably can't see it. Yep, you see Big Farm? Yep, so uh, that's what I do in um, in my spare time. You know, uh, you know, I pick up my phone and I just kind of, excuse the iron board, you guys. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I pick up my phone and I just play, you know, the past time sometimes when I'm not, you know, when I just want to breather, you know, um, you got to have balance, right? So anywho, you guys, we did an interview, my last interview out of my new book, it cost me everything. So you got to go watch that. You got to go watch that. Yeah, um, I'm excited. We got this big conference coming up at the end of the year. I want to see my team, Moses. Uh, family, I want to see my family, my cousins there, and it's gonna be awesome. So I'm about to sit down, you guys. I just been working, 
I've uh, been publishing books. I got to uh, work on one of my clients' books, and that's what I'm about to do. Just wait till they finish spending time with the Lord. Um, he said, babe, don't you know, come in the room till I finish praying. So, okay. So I'm giving some one-on-one -on -one time with the Lord. And I'm going to sit out here and I'm going to watch Mariah finish cleaning up. And I'm going to, you know, go worship and praise the Lord as well. You know, hey. You love